Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. I've been trying to come on all day. Well, I guess I haven't actually been trying because if I was really trying, I would have come on. However, I have been saying to myself, um, that's a better choice of words, that I would come on several other times today. But I wanted to um, share a very impactful thought process with you. It's something that I realize many of us as entrepreneurs struggle with um, when we're building our brands and, you know, especially in social media. Hey, good evening. Be sure to put your name in the comments as you come in. You guys see in the title, why you shouldn't copy anyone else's paper. Why you shouldn't copy off of anyone else's paper. And this is for entrepreneurs, so we're actually talking about the business that you're building or your brand. Um, T. Long, how are you? Guys, do me a favor, share the broadcast out if I say something that helps your business or your life at any point during our message. I have about maybe, what, seven things to share with you um, as it relates to this particular topic. If you've never been on a live broadcast with me before and you're wondering, who's this lady? I'm Tanya Wilson-Cherry. Hey, Marlon, how are you? Business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners just like yourself, helping you brand, build, and profit in your business. I teach from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset. Now, if you've never applied abundance mindset principles, the time that we're facing right now is definitely the scenario to do it in. Um, just remembering that there's no lack of resources or clients or money. Um, it never really leaves the earth. It simply exchanges hands. And our job as entrepreneurs is to stand up at the highest version of ourselves that will actually attract the people who have what we need. So I teach abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. Tonight, I wanted to give you a message that has been resting on me since I was out in my yard earlier today. And it's why you shouldn't copy off of anyone else's paper or for entrepreneurs that would be their brand. Number one reason, you don't know if they're taking the same test. I don't know if you guys are aware but your business building process is very much a part of your personal journey. Your DNA, all of that good stuff is mixed into your business building process. Um, this is confirmation. I was told somewhat the same thing just today. Yes, listen, it's so easy, you know, with social media to, you know, watch others. And, you know, in our mind, we feel we're, we're getting inspired but in actuality, we're copying, you know, other people's stuff. So, and, and I don't think people do it. Well, no, I can't say they don't do it intentionally. But not everybody does it intentionally. It's kind of like this um, trail that you find yourself on, right? That you're unaware that you're even on this rat's race or chase um, that you're on. But the number one reason you should never copy anyone else's paper is you don't know the test, if the test that they're taking is even the same, Lord have mercy. What I mean by that is I share with you guys that much of our business building process is intertwined with our life's journey as entrepreneurs, whether we know it or not. The biggest classroom we could ever in, enter into is entrepreneurship. And when we look away at someone that we may feel is competition or I don't know, right? When we look away, um, we actually don't know if they're even taking the same test that we're taking in that season. Does that make sense to you guys? So the number one reason why you should never copy off of anyone's paper entrepreneurs or their brand is because you don't know if they're even taking the same test that you're taking. The second reason is, this is what happens when you copy off of somebody else's paper. Stephanie, hello, Jackie, Nico, Lika, hey girls, hey. 
and maybe there's a gentleman that may have popped in that I don't see. Good evening, everybody. I don't see a name come up, but I believe that's Crystal's beautiful face I see on a picture. I could be wrong, but I kind of get familiar with people I've worked with before. Not sure, but if Chris, if that's you, Crystal, hey, girl. Hey, yes, that's Crystal. I just saw your name pop up. How are you this evening? Hey, Jackie. Hey, babe. The number two reason why you never copy off of anyone else's paper, guys, or their brand, for those of us who are entrepreneurs, you won't know what you need to study. Lord have mercy. Listen, whenever we're taking a test, I believe that our entrepreneurial journey is part of our life's test. It's part of our journey to become more, figure out the things that we need to get better at. I believe we all have something to give. And our perfecting and cultivating process happens in entrepreneurship. I believe it's the biggest classroom for um, personal growth and personal development that we could ever step into. Now, many of us didn't know that when we began entrepreneurship, that we would learn so much about who we are and who, we are, who we're not, right? Um, or who we need to become. But in actuality, this is our biggest classroom, our entrepreneurial journey. And if you're copying off of someone else's paper, you won't know what you need to study. Now, what do I mean by you knowing what you need to study? When you are in alignment with your own brand, your own DNA, your own vision, what it is that you have set out to do, there are going to be times during the test, right? It's going to be times during the test where the teacher or life itself may mark what you're doing wrong. But if you're copying off of someone else's paper, you won't ever know what it is that you got wrong or that you need to cultivate or that you need to do differently. You guys hear me? Listen, the number two reason why you never want to copy off of anyone else's paper or their brand or their business is because you won't know what you need to study. Did you all know that um, if you're looking to build a premium brand, people are looking for experts? And we become experts because we practice over and over again, maybe the thing that we're only good at, but we become great at. And we won't know what we need to become great at if we're looking at somebody else's paper, writing down their answers. We never really know <clears throat> what we need to cultivate as an individual to grow our brand. We won't know the information we need, what's missing. We're just always uncertain. It's like a rat's race, right? So that's the number two reason why you never want to copy anybody else's brand as you're growing and building. Hey, Tracy, how are you, dear? The third reason, you don't want to copy anybody else's paper. Listen, the title in itself, paper, money, coin, that's not how I meant it. But, you know, I mean, it was just so good. I love the title. And I, I didn't choose the title, so it was a download. Anyway, number three. Did you know when you copy off of someone else's paper or their brand, you confuse your customers? Lord have mercy. Did you guys know you confuse your customers when you copy off of someone else's brand? Because we all have what's called a brand DNA, right? It's our natural makeup, and that's what we should cultivate as we're building our brand. And because of that, we begin to attract people automatically, right? It's part of our attraction system. And then when we start copying off of other people's paper, we start saying stuff and doing stuff that's not in alignment with who we are, and we confuse the customers. The next thing I want to share with you guys is if you're copying someone who you feel, feel is your competition, more than likely, customers are watching you and them. Lord have mercy. Most oftentimes, the customers know because they're looking for a specific thing. Listen, I'm telling you guys, you confuse the customers. And then you also lose a sense of integrity with the customers. Most customers are watching or clients are watching several brands before they decide to purchase. Right? And if 
you're copying who you feel is your competition or they're copying you that i mean it goes both ways the consumers see it <laughs> they know most oftentimes where it originally came from so you lose your integrity even if you were to find yourself in that flow where you're like, wait a minute, I, I didn't even realize that I was doing what they're doing or changing my stuff. You know, every time they change their stuff, I didn't even realize it. But every time you do that, you move out of flow. In order for you to copy someone else's brand, you got to look back or you got to look away from the direction that you're supposed to head. Does this make, is this clear to you guys? So whenever we copy off of someone else's paper, we lose focus. We lose momentum every single time. So maybe let's reverse engineer it. And maybe it's someone else copying you. And you find yourself going to their page or their website or whatever they're doing every day, right? To see if they're even copying you. Don't you know you're losing time and you're losing momentum? And what you have to understand, if you're in complete alignment with your particular assignment, what you should be selling, your products, your services, where the next realm of your business is going to head, if you're in complete alignment with that, you don't have to look back. My goodness. Every time you look back, you lose focus. You lose momentum. Let me give you guys some reasons why we may find ourselves copying other people's paper <laughs> or their brand. I love a little paper part because I'm thinking coin, right? Chances are very likely that you lack clarity in what you're building. Somebody put that in the comments. You lack clarity in what you're building. This is often what's, what happens, guys, when we find ourselves on this, you know, rat chase and we're copying other people's brand. I'm not saying that you don't get inspired by other people. It's not what I'm saying, right? I'm saying that you don't copy, right? Because remember the number one reason was <clears throat> you don't know if they're even taking the same test. We all have a journey and our personal lives are in alignment with our business. And you may be copying answers from a completely different test. They may be at a different phase in their life and in their business. Am I making sense? You Y'all talk to me. Put yes in the comments if I'm making sense to you guys, if this is registering. Brandy Mag Reynolds, welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Yes, absolutely. So let me give you guys the fourth thing. <clears throat> Before I get into the reasons why we may, may find ourselves veering off in that manner, the fourth reasons are chances are very likely you have a different target audience. So just imagine you see someone who you may admire, right? And you find yourself kind of imitating them a little bit, saying what they say, offering what they offer. Just suppose that person has an extremely premium brand and their message is aligned for premium clients, right? But you don't even notice that your target audience is completely different. So maybe they're, um, you know, maybe you serve more people and you sell at lower prices, but now you're using a message from someone who has premium offers and either way it's not going to sell. It's not going to sell. Do you guys get that? Hey, Tamika, how are you, dear? Number four reason, chances are likely you don't even have the same target audience because a lot of how we're attracting people is in our brand DNA. I teach that in 3D Success Academy. If you haven't joined, our enrollment for May ends in about a week or so. Number five, number five reason, and I kind of talked about this earlier, but you lose momentum every time you look back. Every time you look over, every time you look away, you lose momentum. Here are the reasons why we find ourselves doing that. Number one, remember I said you probably lack clarity. You're probably uncertain about what it is that you should be doing in the season. Number two, you need courage in what you have. 
each and every one of us has gifts. Now, those gifts need to be cultivated, but we have our own unique gifts. And we, when we get clear on what our superpowers are, how to strategize it, how to put that thing out there, listen, it will increase your courage. So if you find that you're doing this, you probably lack clarity in what you uniquely should be doing. Does this make sense to you guys? Does this make sense? The last reason why you may find yourself doing that is because things got blurry in your vision. You switched your focus. How many of you have ever had like a vision and that thing rested on you for, for many years and it almost felt like other people were doing what you saw in your vision? <laughs> Anybody? Put me in the comments if that's, if that's ever happened to you before. He's like, you know what? I had that idea. Like I, I wrote that in my journal. Like that's that's what I I was gonna do. That's the key word. Was gonna do. See, whenever we stopped to go and look off, look back, or look in a new direction, we lost momentum and our vision got blurry. So that thing that we were wanting to do, that idea, because I believe that God also gives ideas that He wants out into the marketplace and into the world and if you don't do it somebody else will listen he will give the idea he's like okay you know i gave her that like five six years ago i need this idea to be out into the world because i specifically dropped the idea because it's going to be valuable to someone who needs it and i'm not going to allow this solution that i've provided Hey, Teddy, how are you? To just sit when there are people who are in need of this particular thing. Y'all yeah, don't hear me, right? So that is my take, my reason why you should never look at anyone else's paper. Now, I came up with the coin part after I made the title. But their brand, their, their business. I don't mean like you should never have someone that you admire or, you know, someone who's already done what you're looking to do. I'm not saying that at all, but I mean someone that you may feel is your competition or someone that you may, you know, um, even be inspired by. There's a way to go about accessing what it is that they have. And then I want to share this with you. It's real heavy, guys. There are a lot of followers following followers dressed up like leaders. And that was heavy. And I just decided that I was going to say what came up. There are a lot of followers. So sometimes the follower is following the follower. So the follower is following the person that's copying off of the other person's paper. <clears throat> right? And this is where confusion comes into play. Each and every one of you have a, a unique brand DNA. Tamika says, my gosh, I'm just trying to tell y'all. And see, when this happens, you all over the place. Because the person that's, follow, that's the follower, that's following the follower, is copying off of somebody else's paper. So you never get the full, you never know if you got the right answer. It never feels um, divine. It never feels real. You're like, okay, I still, I'm still a little confused because the other person is confused. Listen, God has a lane for each and every one of us. We have gifts and superpowers, and there are, I believe that success leaves clues. I believe that our life begins to be a blueprint for how we are to build our brand and grow our business and the specific people that we're called to serve. We all have a unique sphere of influence, right? But we can't get to them if we're copying off of other people's paper. That's my take for this evening, guys. For those of you who are looking to gain the clarity that you need to build your brand, understand your superpowers and your DNA, I invite you to join us inside 3D Success Academy, renewfullcircle.com slash 3DA. I believe there's a video on my page now. 
explaining more about what the academy um, consists of and if you go to the link it will give you instructions but if you're looking for an optimal opportunity to grow your business and your life um, 3d success academy is that opportunity destiny dollars and discipline so it's a full circle experience you'll leave with the clarity that you need you'll get so focused and so in your own lane y'all don't hear me that is so important as we're building our business and our life that's my take on this evening renewfullcircle.com slash three the number three da um reasons why you shouldn't copy off of other people's paper or their brand remember you don't know if they're taking the same test you won't know what you need to study my goodness you'll confuse your customers chances are likely that you have a different target audience anyway and number five you lose momentum you lose momentum and the reasons we do it we don't have we lack clarity um, we need courage and things got blurry when we switched our focus but you guys have greatness on the inside of you there's something amazing that you were designed to create and put out into the world Alvin Busta hey that you were designed to put out into the world and you don't have to copy anybody else's paper you have your own test to take your own test you guys have a beautiful evening <laughs> peace